guys and welcome back to No Bland Makeup where we do makeup and body paint tutorials usually with a cosplay twist and I have recorded this video three times. This is the best it's gonna get so I'm posting it. <laughs> so if you guys want to see other Mortal Kombat kind of, not kind of, cosplays just let me know in the comments and also if you like body paints, cosplay, makeup in general don't forget to subscribe. So, uh, to start off, I'm going to put my hair back because we don't need that right now. So, the first couple times I've done this video, I'm not even joking, um, I've done the eye part first because I thought that the actual mask was going to be easier. It's not. Yeah. So, I did the mask part first this time. Um, I basically outlined what I was going to be what part of my face I was going to be using and what was going to be in yellow um, and kind of just drawing the basic shapes of everything so that way um, like I don't put yellow body paint or whatever in places that are going to need to be a completely different color so I started off by just doing that um, and filling everything in with yellow that was probably the easier part of this yep then once I've done all of that, I'm just going to draw a line down the middle of my face. This is basically going to be the two halves of the mask that we're going to be working on. I'm going to show you guys everything I did on one side because you're literally going to do the same thing on the other. So yeah. Okay, so I lied. There's going to be one other thing I'm going to do before we start doing that. Um, I'm going to be kind of outlining the top part of the mask um, just with some black body paint. This is going to be essentially the first part of the shadow on the top of that top part of that mask um, that's kind of the part that really connects to its face so we're just gonna add a little bit of black there and then once you're done with that you're gonna grab some black or dark brown eyeshadow I wound up grabbing both um, and we're just gonna kind of shade right under that line so that way it looks more like it's a little bit flatter of a surface and it makes it look a little bit more 3d um, I started out with dark brown because I thought that that might work um, it wasn't dark enough for what I was going for so I just switched out for a black eyeshadow and basically do the same thing you're just gonna follow the line of the mask where you put that black um, line and that's it for that I swear, this sounds way less complicated than it was while I was actually doing it and tried to figure it out. Probably because I was in my head about the three other times that I attempted this. And, yeah. Then, once I finished with that, I took that dark brown shade that I thought I wasn't going to need. Um, and I... He has, like, this almost like a... It's not like a cheekbone thing, but it kind of looks like one. If that makes any sense. Um, and I started shading right under where that was going to be and also kind of giving it more of a 3D look so that it looks like it sticks out more from my face. Um, so I started drawing like a little triangle downwards so you can kind of see where the light is not hitting it. That's a great way to make something look more three-dimensional is just to keep in mind where your shadows are going to be. Um, and also keep in mind that I also took that same advice and threw it right out the window in a little bit. Then once I finished shading there, I went in with some white body paint and highlighted. If you don't want to use body paint, you can totally use eyeshadow for this. Um, eyeshadow is probably going to be a little bit easier to blend um, just because it's made to blend out, you know? You can do that too with body paints. You just have to get your paints a little wet and kind of reactivate them to do it. Um, to blend them out though, I just used my finger while they were still wet and that was it. So the next part that I did was these like vent things that he has on his mask. Um, I started off, you guys can't really see it, but um, sectioning off where each one of these little vent like, I want to say doohickey, but that also makes me sound really old. <laughs> <laughs> these like vent things are on his face um, you can't see it here but when you're painting your face or somebody else's face you can kind of see where it doesn't dry at the same time um, just to give myself an idea of what I was gonna be doing um, then I started doing more details for the actual vents like separating them adding some highlights some shadows um, 
keep in mind that if you want to make anything look three-dimensional, you need to have highlights and shadows to kind of balance it out. That's what makes things look three-dimensional. <laughs> Everything has a light source, and yeah. Also, be sure to pick a direction that your light is coming from. Uh, you'll see what I mean in a minute. And then I also added in some white, like, flex, I guess? And then some silver, or gray in this case. Um, the picture I was looking at, he had, like, it almost looks like they soldered his mask back together in certain places. So, you can do it, or you could skip that part. That is totally up to you. Then for this next section, since there were a lot of areas that were highlighted, some that were... Um, just like this grid pattern, some that were deeper because it was in shadow, I decided to wing it, <laughs> which seems to be my motto on this channel. I don't know. Um, ideally, you would want to pick one light source for where things are going to be happening. Um, when I put the black detail in as the quote-unquote shadow, I should not have done that. I should have just used some eyeshadow so that way it looks more shadowy and I can blend it a little bit better and you get a better 3D effect. Also, I should have kept in mind exactly where my light source was going to be and not just been like, well, fuck it, I'm going to put this wherever I want. That makes it kind of not as realistic. My husband said he liked it. I think it's because he's my husband and he loves me, but that was just something that kind of bothered me, so I figured I would mention it to you guys. Remember how like two seconds ago I said uh, pick a direction that your light source is coming from? It matters, no matter what I say. Uh, yeah, this is a perfect example of that. I couldn't figure out which side I wanted this to be coming out of. So yeah, I picked both. <laughs> if you want to make it look more realistic, have your light source come from one spot and go with it. So now that I'm done with the mask, I'm going to be doing the wrinkles. This was honestly the easiest part. He is very angry. I mean, if you're fighting to the death, I wouldn't really be happy. If I'm being honest. But, <laughs> um, the way that you can do this is scrunch up your face and anywhere that you see lines of any sort, put some eyeshadow there. Make sure, though, that you're blending out the eyeshadow. Um, I kind of just put it where I wanted it first and then started blending with my finger. You want the lines to be there, but not to be, like, like you just drew lines all over your face, you know? It's supposed to look like wrinkles. Like, angry wrinkle marks. Um, so anything on your forehead, like, for your forehead ones, just, like, raise your eyebrows as high up as you can. If you have to, like, push your hairline down a little bit to, like, get some really, like, in there wrinkles, be my guest. Um, I have genetic ones under my eyes that like literally have been there for years so I kind of emphasize those um, and yeah this was probably the most fun of this to be completely honest um, yeah <laughs> this was definitely the most fun part I mean in the three times that I've done it this is the only part I got perfectly right so there you go but yeah, aside from putting in some contacts, uh, my husband said put, use the creepy ones, and that's exactly what I did. <laughs> I didn't have the energy, honestly, to do the rest of this like as a body paint, so I just put on one of my jackets. Um, I had a ski mask thing, and I put it on, and that's it. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely had a lot of fun doing it for the third time. I'm never going to let that go. Um, so yeah. And if there's any characters you guys want to see, let me know in the comments down below or like send me a message or something. I don't know. See you next time.